Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make your own pattern and properly apply it to any image using Adobe Photoshop. And this is what our final effect or my final effect is going to look like. So it's a very subtle change but here are the patterns in the background. That's uh, without the patterns and this is with the patterns. So with that being said, let's get started. And the first step would be to actually make uh, the pattern itself. So this is what it's going to look like when we're done with it. So the first thing you want to do is click on File New and we're going to make a new image with a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels and press OK. All right, I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to make a new layer. So Command Shift N if you're on a Mac, Control Shift N if you're on Windows. And we're going to choose the Shape tool or to be more exact, we're going to choose the Polygon tool. We're going to have uh, three sides selected over here. And then I'm just going to click in the middle and make a triangle. Try to make that as straight as I can. And that looks good. So what we're going to do now is just position the triangles wherever we want them to be. I'm going to position two down here. And if two of them don't fit, I'm going to have to try to make them fit. I duplicated it by right clicking on the layer and just clicking duplicate layer. And of course, both of them don't fit, so what we're going to do is click Command T or Control T, uh, hold down Shift, and then just make them each a little bit smaller. And press Enter, and then the next one. And press Enter. All right, that's looking good so far. Now what I'm going to do is uh, right click on another one of those layers, click Duplicate Layer. We want to make another triangle. We're going to bring that up here. We're going to click Command T or Control T, uh, hold down Shift, and flip that one upside down. And we're actually going to make it a little bit bigger. And then just position that in the center right there. Press Center. All right, that's looking good too. Now what I want to do is uh, make this exact shape except flipped upside down uh, to the right of it. So we're going to click Image, Canvas Size. And the anchor, we're going to click on this left arrow, uh, and we're going to change uh, this to pixels, and we're going to change the width to 200 pixels, and press OK. So now we have this. I'm just going to get rid of this background altogether. We don't really need that. And I'm going to hold down Shift, uh, choose all three shapes, and then right-click on them and click dupl Duplicate Layers, and press OK. And I'm going to bring those to the side. And then click Command T, right click on them, and click Flip Vertical. And press Enter. All right, that looks like it's doing the job pretty well for us. Just some minor adjustments here. And so far, it's looking pretty good. Now, all I want to do is add a couple circles. So I'm going to choose another shape tool, this time the Ellipse tool. And then just hold down Shift so we could get a perfect circle. Uh, and make one right about there. And then let me position that to my liking, okay? We're gonna right click on that, click Duplicate Layer, and press OK. And then we're gonna bring it to the right and have only half of it show. And then we're gonna duplicate that layer again, press OK, and bring it all the way to the left and have only half of it show. All right, that's looking pretty good. And now we're almost done. Now all I wanna do is hold down Shift, select all the layers, right click on them, and click Merge Layers. Uh, I'm just gonna change the color of them really quick to white alright and then we're going to make a new layer and just have just choose the paint bucket tool and make the background black alright so this is looking really good this is pretty much what we want so now to make the actual pattern we're gonna click on edit define pattern and we're going to uh, name this uh, tribal pattern and press OK all right, now we're going to go back to our uh, original image, and I'm just going to delete all this so I could redo it with you guys there. What I did beforehand is actually we have the original image right here, and we have the cutout of the main model in the image. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be a good cutout. Um, I just wanted just a quick little cutout uh, to have the patterns go behind her and not in front of her. So you might want to do that to your image too. Cut out the person so the patterns go behind the person. Now what we're going to do is make a new layer right in between 
uh, the cutout of her and then the actual uh, normal image of her. So Command Shift N or Control Shift N if you're on Windows. And what we're going to do is just paint this in with black. And we're going to set the uh, blend mode to screen. And that's going to make it so we don't see the black at all. And then we're going to double click on that layer and go to pattern overlay. And then we're going to check the pattern and we're going to uh, click on the one that we just made. And that's looking pretty good. Now all I did was make it smaller, a lot smaller. Um, I think about 40% on this image works pretty well. And we want the blend mode of this to also be screen, so the black doesn't show, just the white shows. And actually, let me make this just a little bit smaller. All right, about 33% works well for me. And I'm going to press OK. Now, we're almost done. All I want to do is get the pattern out of this, um, out of this uh, black layer. So we're going to right-click on the FX right here and click Create Layer. So we're going to have Layer 1's pattern fill, and we're going to have Layer 1. We'll just delete layer one and we're just left with this pattern. Okay, so that's looking good. What I'm going to do is make another layer on top of that. And we're going to select the gradient tool and we're just going to select one of these uh, rainbow gradients. If you don't have these available, they come pre-installed with photo Photoshop. So all I have to do is click right here in this little uh, triangle and uh, click on spectrums and those rainbow gradients will load. So I'm just going to choose one of them. Uh, just click from the left, drag to the right, and let go. And we have this rainbow gradient. And then I'm just going to check uh, the blend mode of linear burn. All right. And then what we're going to do is right click on that and click create clipping mask. So that's going to make it so it only applies to the pattern or to the layer right below it and not any of the other layers. All right. And we're almost done here. Um, what I did really quick in the original image was... I erased some parts of it just to add a little uh, more effect to it. So we're going to click on uh, the pattern fill, uh, click on the eraser tool with a, just a big soft eraser brush. And I just erased around her a little bit just to give off uh, another neat little effect. And there we go. We're pretty much done. Now, uh, just a quick tip. I really like adding patterns to images overall just because they add like an extra umph, an extra an extra cool little thing to look at to the image. Now this image, the pattern wasn't really necessary because we already had a cool background on the image. But still, the pattern helped a lot. It made it look even better. So even if it's just some striped lines um, or some cool uh, little uh, tribal markings, tribal patterns like I did in this one, um, anything could help. Any little pattern can add to the image. And add some cool color overlay, a gradient overlay, or anything, and it makes it just that much better. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys learned something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.